F1 cars. They have 600 brake horsepower, they have sequential gearboxes, and they have bodywork that enhance their downforce. What's all that got to do with this, I hear you ask? Everything except the 600 brake horsepower, because this Nissan Skyline GTR has 700. With that sort of power, you don't so much drive this car as pilot it. And that pleasure is left to this man, Andy Middlehurst. Andy, nice to see you. Hello, Thanks Dave. for coming along today. Okay, thank you. Now, I know from the standard car that this front splitter isn't actually standard, is it? No, the standard one is quite a lot uh, smaller um, and then it just goes about a few inches under the car. This one protrudes from the front of the car and the other tray goes about a third of the way down the car. So that's to create downforce and to give the car better stability at speed. Right, so it's all to do with the handling and the, and the downforce more than anything. That's right. Downforce sort of balancing off the grip with the, with the top speed. So it's uh, performance rather than styling. That's right. <laughs> now, I do know that the actual standard car does have a rear spoiler like this, but not exactly. Can you talk me through it, please? Yeah, the standard spoiler is one flat plane. This one is a, a dual plane rear spoiler with the gurney flap at the back. Uh, again, it's to balance the top speed off with the grip. The more wing you put on, the more downforce you gain. So it's balanced on the grip of the vehicle at high speed with the, with the top speed of it. Right, so everything really to do with the body is, is to enhance your downforce and, and keep it on the ground, really. That's right. So the, the height of the vehicle and the, the spoilers all enhance the, uh, the top speed and the stability. Right. And if we can just move down to the back, Andy... Now, I noticed your number plate as soon as you arrived, and there's a little story behind it, isn't there? Yeah, it's, it's a straightforward number plate, N1 SMO, uh, reads Nismo, and Nismo is the, the performance side to Nissan Motorsport, so it's sort of a good uh, performance plate for the vehicle. <laughs> Keep the feel of the car going. Yeah. Now, nobody's going to miss the size of that exhaust just there, Andy. What sort of size are we talking? Yeah, the, the rear tailpipe is 5.5 inches, it goes down to 3.5 inches up to the front of the car, Again, the size of the bore is important to the vehicle, so it gets the exhaust gases out quickly and very cleanly. Right, and I take it it's much better than over the standard car itself. Yeah, the standard vehicle has got a smaller bore and uh, needs to, doesn't get the gases away quick enough. Right, now I've noticed the size of your wheels. What sort of size are you working? Uh, they're 18 by 10 inches wide. Um, again, uh, it increases the stability of the car and the lower, lowers the... Uh, the side wall of the tyre to increase the grip level. Right. Now, you're going to have to have uprated your, your brakes here, haven't you? Yeah, obviously any car that goes made to go quicker has got to stop quicker. Uh, the cars are to do with uh, the AP six-pot calipers with 355mm discs. And they're huge. Yeah, they're, they're pretty big size. We probably get bigger in, but uh, they're going to be adequate for the job. Right. Now, I've noticed this. This is obviously going to uh, cool your brakes down. Uh, no, you're wrong there. Uh, that is actually an out -cool, uh, oil cooler outlet. Uh, the, the car obviously will increase the oil temperatures. The car goes quickly, so we need uh, an inlet and an outlet so the oil cooler sleeps behind that uh, vent. Right. Now, Andy, unfortunately, this car's been in development for while well, we were doing all our films of people, but we do actually have a Skyline in full flight. Uh, we've got the tape over there. That is fantastic, but of course that's in standard trim, Andy. 
Do you mind showing me the mechanicals of the car? Then we can get a better idea of what we're talking about. Now, I know that this isn't an actual standard engine. Can you talk me through it? Yeah, the, the basic engine of the Skyline is a straight six-cylinder twin-turbo engine. Um, the car's been modified on the bottom end for strength, so it's had a steel crank, steel rods, billeted pistons. It's been bored out to a larger CC. It's fitted with a uh, twin-plate uh, steel head gasket with uh, large camshafts in the head. head's been gas-flowed to get the, the air in and out pretty quickly. Uh, the turbos are a larger HKS turbos, they have roller bearings so they spin up quickly, so there's very little lag involved with it. All the pipe work's been altered, uh, the induction system has been altered to get the air in quick, and the exhaust manifold's altered to get the air out. Excellent, and I believe the uh, gearbox is extra special as well. Yeah, the gearbox is a Hollinger 6-speed gearbox from Australia. Um, it's just an up-down gearbox, uh, pretty road-friendly. And ex you don't have to use the clutch when you start going, so it's obviously quicker on acceleration. Excellent. Andy, would you mind turning it over for us so we can uh, all have a listen? No problem. Now, of course, I heard Andy turn up in this, and I thought there was an earthquake outside, but it was actually Andy turning up in this skyline. That's an absolute beast before we even start. Now, Andy, I believe you're going to try and break some records with this. Yeah, there's eight uh, UK speed records we're going to go for at Millbrook uh, when the weather gets a bit better. Uh, some are high speed runs and some acceleration runs, so got to get the RAC timekeepers down and go for it. Excellent. Well, I hope that we can come along and actually film you doing that. But in the meantime, Andy Middlers, thank you very much.